PUB Mobile is going to be destroyed by the mouse and keyboard. Fans of the mobile version of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds are noticing that some players are significantly better at the game, and it's not just a matter of practice. The keyboard and mouse invasion has begun. There's many ways a willing user can upgrade their mobile PUBG experience, Motherboard reported. Players have installed the game on Chromebooks, paired Bluetooth devices to their phones, and run emulators on their PC to make the game run with a mouse and keyboard. After an afternoon spent chessing Battlegrounds Mobile in various ways, I'm here to tell you it's easy to do and it's totally cheating. It seems futile to ask players to not take advantage of a method of playing that's easy to set up and will give them a massive advantage, while not explicitly hacking the game. Using the touchscreen controls when you play PUP Mobile feels like part of the game's social contract, but that contract is so easily broken and doing so gives players such an immediate boost that it's hard to imagine the practice is going to wind down on its own. Players are sharing methods of playing the game with a mouse and keyboard, or even a standard console controller, and it's causing something of a ruckus in the community. Some players are just happy to have a way to play PUBG without paying for the PC version, and don't seem to realize how imbalanced the playing field becomes with different control schemes. And others who are playing the game as it's intended are becoming frustrated by the situation. Why don't you just play the regular PC version? One player asked another who posted about playing with a mouse and keyboard. It's way too imbalanced if you're playing the mobile version with a keyboard on a PC. Smartphone players won't stand a chance. You kinda destroy the whole game. But that's selfish humanity, I guess. This isn't an issue that the community is going to be able to sort out itself, people just aren't wired to turn down this sort of advantages in competitive games out of a sense of fairness. They may argue this isn't cheating, or they just may not care. It's going to continue to be a problem until some effective method for finding and banning these players is implemented within the game itself. That may happen, or it may not, but it has to be frustrating for players to wonder if they're dying because they're not as good as the competition, or if they're being limited by playing with the expected motion controls. The game was designed and balanced with the assumption that you are playing on a touch screen, and a large number of players on the servers playing with other hardware could potentially push the real players out of the game in frustration.